Well, hey there, I'm LJ. Thanks for popping into the adventure stop today. We're gonna go visit the San Diego Zoo Safari Park. Not to be confused with the San Diego Zoo, which is a little further south near downtown San Diego, the San Diego Zoo has about 3,700 animals and it's the largest zoo in America. Well, we're gonna have to skip that one today and we'll save that for another adventure. You can get to the safari park a couple different ways. You can take the 5 freeway to the 78 or the 15 to the city of Escondido. Parking here is $15 per vehicle and there's a lot of parking spaces up front here. There's also overflow parking on those busy days down in the dirt below and then also a lot of disabled parking right here. I'm not sure if this area has a name but I would call it the main entrance pavilion area if I could. It's where you can purchase your tickets and find the main entrance gates. Now it's time to choose your safari. A single day ticket runs about $56, and you could save a lot more long term if you plan to visit frequently with annual passes. And those tickets are also good for the San Diego Zoo down south. Now I do have to say, we've been here quite a few times, but this place is so huge, so be sure you grab a map on your way in, because there's lots to do and see. And if you need any type of special assistance, some strollers, you can find that at the entry as well. And are you ready for your animal adventure today? Well, here we go! And the safari park is real helpful in explaining where the animals come from, their threat level throughout the world, and how we can save them. Helpful signs will tell you where you need to go, and the base camp will also provide you with information, security, the baby care center, as well as general information. There are a lot of extra activities that you can do such as the jungle rope safari, the zipline tour, or the tram tour where you can view the animals across the savanna plains. Of course there's quite a few stores where you can buy your favorite stuffed animal, a new shirt, or a hat if you like. Of course there's a lot of places to eat but we're going to skip on that today and save that for another adventure. Now the safari park has a lot of choices for you whether you're feeling like a pretzel or a flavored icy or a favorite burger and the thorn tree is the place to go for a delicious burger. Right behind thorn tree is my second favorite place to go for nachos is the Sambaru Terrace. Their burgers aren't that bad either. Most guests, including myself, love to come here for the Africa Tram Tour. Now to get there, you're going to make your way to this platform area where you can take both the stairs down below or the elevator. And while you're up here, be sure to take in the sights and sounds of the valley. Now there's a couple different tours that you can take of the African savanna, so to be sure to check on the prices and availability at the kiosk right outside. Now these trams are included with your admission with the park and they run about every 20 to 30 minutes. Alright, be sure to keep a watchful eye out there because you never know what you're going to see. In the blink of an eye, you could miss it, so be sure to keep alert and keep your eyes open for those elusive animals. Tell me in the comments below of all the different animals you can spot.
Depending on the weather, the Cheetah Run happens every day at 3.30. You can also have reserve viewing for $8 or just show up about an hour early to get a good spot. Now, the Cheetah has his best friend, this little dog that kind of shows him the way and makes him feel comfortable, but don't blink, he's a fast one. What's your favorite area or animal? Mine happens to be the tigers. You feel like you're immersed in Malaysia. And this one happens to be one of the young juvenile females who just came out to start to explore. Now she's usually pretty shy, so it was a great opportunity to see her to come out and really explore her area and get really close up to the people. It was really amazing to see this point of view from a tiger, essentially. And we just missed it, but she let out this most amazing roar that you can just feel the vibrations in your chest. It was amazing. Well, our adventure here at the safari park is just about wrapping up. It's just about dinner time. And not just for this tiger, it's time for our dinner. Let's go out and check out what we have to eat today. And since we're in the city of Escondido, the safari park is kind of in the middle of nowhere. Well, obviously, because there's wild animals. Well, there's a great little hole in the wall about 20 to 25 minutes away called Fa Truck Zan. Well, this Diners, Drives, and Dives is a great place to find Guy Fieri, let me tell you. It has great food, and if you're a Pokemon Go player, this here is a great gym to battle by. Now, bring your strongest Pokemon for sure, because it's always being taken over. So this place here, it's a hole in the wall. The decorations aren't that great, but let me tell you, the people here are the most friendly people. This menu is absolutely huge. And you know, I'll be honest, like a lot of Asian food, the ingredients are about the same, but what makes it are the sauces. They put different sauces and they are delicious. The food is super fresh. And here we had some egg drop soup, hot and sour soup. There was garlic chicken, which is a little sweet and spicy, and also Kung Pao beef. Well, what's really neat is you can control your level of spiciness from 1 to 10. So if you like something a little more tame, choose a 1. Or if you like something that's like lava, that's your number 10. Well, this one is definitely a winner in our book. Well, hey, I'm LJ. Thanks for joining us today on our adventure. Be sure to like and subscribe and come back for new videos soon. Thanks for joining us at the Adventure Stop, where the adventure never stops.